guys, it's your girl Mona. Welcome to Juniority. Today I have a pastry chef in the house for you guys. Her name is Gabrielle Williams and to meet her, we are flying you to Akakee, Maryland. Gabrielle, welcome to the show. Hello, thank you for having me be on the show. It's our pleasure. So tell me a little bit about yourself. So my name is Gabrielle Williams. I'm 14 years old and I start my business at nine years old and the name of my business is Glorious Pastries by Gabrielle. Very cool. So what inspired you to start Glorious Pastries? Well, I always had a sweet tooth, but when I was being bullied at school, I would go bake with my godmother and I just kind of found a love for baking after that. Very nice. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about how you know Gabrielle Jordan. So like, um, when I was being bullied, my mom actually took me to a seminar and it was called Create Your Own Sizzle. And at first we met because we left and because we found out that both of our names were Gabrielle and our last names were both Williams at the time. Now she's known as Gabrielle Jordan. But she inspired me to start my own business because she was the first kid entrepreneur I've ever seen. You actually catered for her for an event that she did, The Trunk Show. Also, you're collaborating with Zandra Cunningham on a book. Tell me about your collaborations with both of them. So for the book, the name of the book is called The Science Behind It, Formulating Success at Any Age. So I'm co-authoring with 23 other young moguls, and we're just talking about how we start our business, what we've been through with our business, our ups and downs, and how to get started. That's awesome. So when you first started your business, you attended the Prince George's County Economic Development Small Business Summit, where they were very impressed by you. And as a result of that, they started Kidpreneur Day. How did that make you feel knowing that you inspire that day? Well, that made me feel really excited because it was like at first when I went there, I was just going there to get some information at first, but as soon as I walked in, I was pulled aside because I was the only kid in there, and especially being the only entrepreneur in there, everyone else was adults. So after that, they just, just pretty much immediately, they just asked about me and my story, my business, and then that's when they decided they would have a kidpreneur day, and, and it was just teaching how um, kids how to start their own business. That's amazing. You also attended the College of Southern Maryland where you took baking and decorating classes. What was that experience like for you? It was kind of different. Um, I was among other bakers, young bakers. So some of the things, because I'm a self-taught baker, so some of the things were kind of hard because I was doing a lot of decorating and certain things I was working with fondant with at the time I didn't work with at um work with so that class had just taught me a lot certain tips like for the uh, cake icing certain decorations I can use for my cakes also so you have been featured on Women's World magazine Washington Post and multiple television programs but I'm curious to know what does Gabrielle consider success is success is just doing certain things that other people haven't done. And um, you know, just knowing that like you pretty much helped change like the community. So if you have like a story and you talk about that, that changing the community like that. You actually speak about bullying. Tell me a little bit about that. So when I was in the, when I was in the third grade, I was bullied immediately because I was the new, um, new kid. I always wore pink. I was different, I was the good child, and I was just, I guess, just picked on for being different. I prayed before I ate, so they just started talking about me. Sometimes it would get physical, and it would actually hit me and all that. But then that actually took a toll on my self-esteem, and I ended up becoming, like, depressed and all that. But just, I found out baking was, like, a therapy for me. And that's actually when my mom took me to the seminar where I met Gabrielle Jordan, and who inspired me to start my business. That's a wonderful story. And I absolutely love that you turned something challenging into something creative. So props to you. 
What do you think are the pros and cons of being a young entrepreneur? I would say one of the pros will you'll be ready for life. You'll be ready to deal with certain things when you're adult. You learn how to manage money, manage your time. But I'll say some of the cons will be not being able to do what all of your other friends are doing. Because there are some times where if my, where my friends, they want to go to the movies, but I can't always go to the movies with them. Or they may have a birthday party and I can't always go. So just doing things like that. If you're still going to school like I am, you got to manage your homework time and classwork and also, you know, your business. So that's another challenge or another con, I guess. What advice do you have for other young entrepreneurs? I would say if you're, you know, just starting out, surround yourself by positive people. I would say get your family and friends involved. Um, networking, that's a big a big part always network with other people because they give you you know more connections with other business owners bigger business owners and bigger you know people celebrities sometimes and just find the pat like find your passion for whatever you're doing i love that so what does gabrielle do for fun i do pageants so um I actually, do, I actually just came back from a pageant last week. I was in New Jersey, so I was just doing that. That was my second nationals pageant for that um, that pageant system. Um, you know, just bake sometimes, hang out with my friends. I'm also a percussionist, so I play, like, the drums and all that. So I do that for fun. So for people that want to find out more about you, where can they find you? You can find me at my website www.gloriouspastriesbygabrielle.com and you can find me at my Facebook and my Instagram at Glorious Pastries one Awesome. Gabrielle, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate you and I wish you the best of luck and I hope to see you grow and continue your journey and uh, thank you very much. Once again, thank you for having me here. My pleasure. My pleasure. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the show. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell so you'll get a notification next time we upload an awesome episode. Be sure to check out our social media at Juniority TV and our website at JuniorityTV.com. Until next time, peace.